Hello children! Welcome once again to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. In this video children, we're going to discuss about division of decimals. There are two skills that we're going to discuss. First, division by a whole number. And the second one is division by a decimal number with one to two decimal places. Let's have first a review on the different parts of the division number sentence. I have here a division number sentence of 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5 wherein 20 is what we call dividend, the number that is to be divided into parts. 4 is what we call the divisor, the number that divides another number either completely or with a remainder. And the digit 5 is what we call the quotient, the result and or answer in division operation. So let us begin our discussion on division by a whole number. Let's have this division number sentence of 0 and 805 thousandths divided by 5 is equal to n. Here's another way of writing this division number sentence. Then, let's start with the first step in dividing a decimal by a whole number and that is Place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So like this. The next step is to divide like a whole number. So let us divide 0 from the dividend, divide by 5, we will get 0 as the answer. Then we will multiply 0 times 5 we will get 0 get the difference we will get 0 the next thing is to bring down the digit 8 8 divided by 5 that is equal to 1 1 times 5 that will give us 5 as the answer then get the difference between 8 and 5 and the difference is 3 the next thing that you're going to do is to bring down 0 so we have 30. 30 divided by 5, that is equal to 6. 6 times 5, that is equal to 30. Get the difference, you will get 0. And the next thing to do is to bring down the last digit in our dividend, and that is the digit 5. 5 divided by 5, that will give us 1. 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. Then get the difference, we will get 0 as the answer. Answer. Therefore, the final answer is 0 and 161 thousandths. Let us have another example on division by a whole number. Let's take this division number sentence of 4 and 65 hundredths divided by 15 is equal to n. Children, Here's another way in writing this division number sentence. Now, we can proceed on the first step in dividing a decimal by a whole number, and that is, place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend, like this one. Then the second step is to divide like a whole number. Remember children, we're going to follow the steps in dividing a number and that is divide multiply subtract and bring down so let's begin 4 divided by 15 we will get 0 as the answer then multiply it to 15 we will get 0 get the difference of 4 and 0 we will get 4 then bring down the next digit in our dividend which is 6 we will get the new number of 46 divided by 15 we will get 3 3 times 15 we will get 45 get the difference between the two and the difference is 1 then the last thing that you're going to do is to bring down the last digit from our dividend and that is the digit 5 
we will form a new number which is 15. Then divide it to our divisor which is 15. We will get the answer of 1. Multiply it to 15. We will get 15. Then get the difference. And we will get 0. Finally, the answer is 0 and 31 hundredths. Children, let us familiarize ourselves with regards to the steps in division of decimal by a decimal with one to two decimal places. The first step is to make the divisor a whole number. So there are two ways. The first is by multiplying both the divisor and the dividend by the power of 10. Or, you can move the decimal point in the divisor to the right up to the last digit. Take note children, the number of times you move the decimal point to the right in the divisor should be equal to the number of times you will move the decimal point to the right in the dividend. The next step is to divide as a whole number. Let us apply the steps in division by a decimal with 1 to 2 decimal places. Let's take this division number sentence of 6 and 48 hundredths divided by 0 and 12 hundredths is equal to n. Now children, let us write this in another form of division number sentence like this one. Now, the first step is to make our divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point from our divisor going to the right up to the last digit. So let us move one, two, since we move two decimal places in our divisor to make it a whole number, let us move also two decimal places in our dividend. One, two. So we have a new division number sentence of 648 divided by 12. Now the last step is to divide this like a whole number. So 6 divided by 12 cannot be, so we will make it 64. 64 divided by 12, we will get 5. 5 times 12, we will get 60. Get the difference, and the difference is 4. Bring down the next digit from our dividend, and that is the digit 8. So we will have a new number of 48. 48 divided by 12, we will get 4 as the answer. Then we will get the product of 4 and 12, and that is equal to 48. You subtract, you will get 0 as the answer. Therefore, the final answer is 54. Let us have another example on division by a decimal with 1 to 2 decimal places. Let's have this division number sentence of 59 and 8 tenths divided by 0 and 26 hundredths is equal to n. Let's rewrite this in another way of presenting the division number sentence like this one. The first thing that we should do is to make our divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right up to the last digit. So let's do it. 1, 2. Since we move two decimal places in our divisor, we will also do it in our dividend by doing or moving the decimal point two places to the right. 1, 2. If you will notice, there is a missing digit after 8. So we will use the placeholder of 0 to represent the missing digit. We have now a new division number sentence of 5980 divided by 26. The second thing that we should do is to divide this like a whole number. So 5 divided by 26 cannot be. So we will make use of 59. 59 divided by 26, we will get 2 as the answer. Multiply this. So that is 2 times 26, we will get 52 as the answer. Get the difference, we will get the answer of 7. Next thing is to bring down the digit 8. So we have a new number. 
78 divided by 26, we will get 3 as the answer. 3 times 26, we will get 78 as the answer. Subtract this, you will get 0. The next thing is to bring down 0, the last digit in our dividend. 0 divided by 26, we will get 0 as the answer. 0 times 26, we will get 0. Subtract, and the answer is 0. Therefore, the final answer is 230. Children, remember this. Division of decimals by a whole number. Step 1. Place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. And step 2. Divide like a whole number. Steps in division of decimal by a decimal with 1 to 2 decimal places. First, make the divisor a whole number. There are two things that you can do. By multiplying both the divisor and dividend by the power of 10. Or move the decimal point to the right in the divisor up to the last digit. Take note, the number of times you move the decimal point to the right in the divisor should be equal to the number of times you will move the decimal point in the dividend. And the last step is to divide as a whole number. Children, let us apply what you have learned earlier by answering the practice exercise. Direction. Find the quotient of the following. You are given 30 seconds to answer each division number sentence. Are you ready now? Let's proceed. Number 1. 0 and 744 thousands divided by 8 is equal to N. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 93 thousandths. Number 2. 0 and 48 thousandths divided by 3 is equal to N. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 16 thousandths. Number 3. 0 and 235 thousandths divided by 5 is equal to N. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 47 thousandths. Number 4. 0 and 72 hundredths divided by 0 and 8 tenths is equal to N. Go! And the correct answer is 0 and 9 tenths. And the last number, number 5, is 0 and 56 hundredths divided by 0 and 8 hundredths is equal to N. Go!
And the correct answer is 7. That's all for now, children. See you soon in our next online learning journey. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See ya!